It's not just an age thing. Yeah. I am superior in so many ways. Uh, and he has to remain humble. You might think that Governor Andrew Cuomo and CNN anchor Chris Cuomo are hamming it up for the cameras with all that lovable brotherly bickering, like this. This isn't a flattering picture. I did not pick this picture with your mouth open, but it is suitable in some ways. And this. You have Cuomo primetime, I have Cuomo all the time. But on Wednesday, Andrew appeared on Late Night with Seth Meyers and explained how real their sibling rivalry really is. We're playing it down. It, it's temper. <laughs> it's the it's the nice version. It's the I'm biting my tongue version because he takes advantage of me in that situation. You know, right, he right. has a certain amount of license. Uh, he can say what he wants to say. I have to be gubernatorial and respectful. So he uses it. Of course, Andrew's talking about the fact that Chris has his own show on CNN, Cuomo Primetime, which Andrew regularly appears on. I'm the older brother, and you know as an older brother, it's our familial and biological duty to assert dominance over the younger brother, to keep them humble, keep them in their place, uh, to assert intellectual dominance, physical dominance, athletic dominance, all of which happens to be true between me and my brother. Look up busting your chops in the dictionary, and you might just find the brother's Cuomo. It's not just an age thing. Yeah. I am superior in so many ways. Uh, and he has to remain humble. Yeah, so the two might playfully butt heads, but there's clearly a lot of love there. We're talking about my, my brother, We're talking about my little brother. This is my best friend. On Wednesday's Cuomo Primetime, Andrew and Chris shared a pretty sweet moment at the end of yet another combative interview. Governor Andrew Cuomo, uh, you're dealing with very important things. Uh, I know that you don't take yourself seriously, but you take the job very seriously. That's what the situation demands. Yeah, it's the cute brotherly moments like that that has America totally swooning over the Cuomo brothers. I love you. Thank you for coming on the show. Love you. All right. Love you, brother. The Cuomo craze has gotten so big, the term Cuomo sexuals was coined for their fan base, which includes stars like Jada Pinkett Smith, I don't miss a press mm. conference. When Cuomo's on, I'm, I've turned, I'm like, got to go see my celebrity crush right now, sorry. And Trevor Noah. There's a group of women who came out and they said, we, we're falling in love with Cuomo. And I said, well, yeah, everyone, everyone should be a Cuomo sexual in that way. A source previously told ET, the brothers are aware of the Cuomo crush and hashtag Cuomo brothers. They think it's cute and playful. And despite the internet's total obsession with them, they're not letting the hype distract them from all the work that must get done. Both brothers know the responsibility they have during this global crisis, and they take their job seriously. Chris has lighthearted moments during interviews with his brother, but isn't afraid to ask him tough questions and hold him accountable. Yeah, some say I shouldn't come on this show because you harass me. Too much fierce and accountability? Me. Can't take it? Want to pat on the back? But back to our regularly scheduled program. Chris straight up asked his brother about his newfound popularity on air, and it was epic. Do you think that you are an attractive person now because you're single and ready to mingle? Do you really think you are some desirable single person and that this is not just people's pain think, coming out of them? I think yeah, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Listen to you. You got an answer for anything. You're feeling pretty good about yes. yourself these days, aren't you? In April, E.T. chatted with Chris's wife, Christina, who weighed in on all the love her hubby and brother-in-law are getting. The brotherly, like, chiding that we've all fallen in love with uh, on TV, is that how they are all the time? <laughs> uh, yeah, they're always taking digs at each other, and it's hilarious, and it always provides for entertainment at um, family functions, and they love each other to death. Chris learned a lot from him, and, uh, you know, they, they kind of finish each other's sentences, and, and you know, they... they you know, they play in jest and uh, it, it's, it provides for a lot of entertainment. It's really nice that they're sharing it with everyone else now. So yes. people feel a little relief from their anxiety through some humor. I've seen so many people commenting saying, you know, we love them, we love the brotherly love, and yes, they're cute. That hashtag Cuomo crush, did you guys see that? Now they've become these heartthrob sex symbols. Yeah, the Cuomo Dude. sexual t-shirts. Yeah, they're hilarious, I love them. Uh, I have someone sending me uh, a sweater that says that, and then a hat. I mean, a, 
uh, then we should get some masks made, right? <laughs>